So the trailers were very interesting, right? Why do I have only now this very important question in my head? I mean, during the entire during the entire trailer sessions and other stuff, we always saw pictures like this on the Tobacco Festival, for example. Then this one, the sailor dude here, and Hugo. Hugo, you're not important. The crossbow is important. I love the crossbow. So we always saw many people in, let's say, some sort of rich condition. We had food, no disease. We always saw some sort of better world. And in the first, the Plague Hotel, we probably remember this scene here. Amisa and Hugo, right before this, before they enter this town. And well, you probably know this scene, or probably know this entire game play arc. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, the town folks probably try to kill us. I mean. It's not very clear, only some of them. And yeah, during the entire game, every time we encounter humans, they always try to kill us. Not very friendly, but hey, for the entire Plague Hotel storyline, it was perfect. I mean, Amicia and Hugo, the relationship came together, everything was fine. But now we see this. I mean, during the first game, we just run away from the Inquisition. We run away from this weird Grandmaster who always gave himself Hugo's blood or something else. And now... Well, now we see that there are people, and they don't care that there are Amicia, that Amicia and Hugo are existing. I mean, normal things, right? Nothing special happens. And yeah, during this entire game, I mean, we always just run away, but this time, it's not like we're even hiding. I mean, the Inquisition is officially in the first part is dead. We killed the Grandmaster, we killed the soldiers, and that's it. Okay, the Red Kid is soldiers, not we. I mean, we had enough weapons. And yeah, so we have nothing to fear. But now is the question this. The Inquisition is not very important anymore. I mean, we saw it in the trailer. It will appear. So the Inquisition will appear definitely. But they don't know in this situation right now that Hugo is alive or that they exist. And for an example, in this scene, which settlement, beautiful settlement, we see that Amicia has his her crossbow kit or I don't know what to call it, for the ammunition. And surprisingly, let's just say this, it's the first game when we encounter friendly humans. Well, Amicia had not, well, she just had no weapons, right? But this time, Amicia has even a crossbow. So it's, let's say, in the middle of a game. And the question here is this, will we just, I don't know, try to hide at the beginning of a game and then after some time the Inquisitions find us, Hugo gets his disease back and when Ah, shit, here we go again. So, what can we expect from a Plague Tale Rakim story? I mean, really, if we look at it from a gaming perspective, and we see that there are many humans, they are living their life, everything is alright, there are even some goats in the background, some chickens, chickens are very important, if you watched one of my videos, you know this. So, that's all for today, just actually a theory video, because why, why there are so many humans? I mean, really, so many humans, it doesn't make any sense. Doing normal conditions. I mean, in the first game, human encounters always end deadly for us or for them. It was nothing to choose, actually. We had to survive. But this time, a rich, peaceful life, everything is fine. So, what happened? What happened in the game? I would say that's it for today for my theory video. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Have a great day.